Um, imagine sitting in a classroom and you're really bored. You look to the person to your left, you look to the person to your right. Just think maybe, hmm, maybe I should, maybe I should play a game. It's a number sign. No, it's a pound. No, it's a hashtag. The way I see it, it's a battlefield. So, today I will talk to you how to win at Tic Tac Toe. And how I'm gonna, oops, and how I'm gonna say it is that X refers to the first player and O refers to the second player. First, let's talk advantages. So, you, what you wanna do is you always want to go first, no matter what. Just like, hint, maybe I should go first. And, and use the rule to your advantage. Use your objective, which is to get three in a row. Use that to your advantage to lead your opponent. I'll be talking about this later and how to use it, but just keep that in mind. And let's say you're unfortunate enough that your opponent didn't let you go first. That's fine. Choose the middle. So I like to refer to the playing mat, or like I said earlier, the battlefield. But the corner is the corner. Let's call these spots the middle edge and this the middle. I'll be referring to it like that throughout my whole presen presentation. So let's define what a line is. So a line can be horizontal, it can be vertical, and it could be diagonal. And like I said, your objective is to get three in a row. One, one factor that we should all keep in mind is that no matter which quarter you choose, or which middle edge you choose, or middle, there's only one, um, it's the same throughout all of it because it's a symmetrical plane mat. So let's say you do go first. What, what move do you do? Let's talk about corners. I think corners is the best way and my go-to first move because the probability of winning is 87.5%, which is pretty high. So step one, what you do, pick a corner. I'll pick this corner. And your second step is to wait for your opponent. So your opponent now has three options. They can go the middle route, they can go a middle edge route, or a corner. So if they go in the middle, Unfortunately, it's a tie, and no one will win, unless someone makes a careless mistake. And if they go in the middle edge, this is what you do. <coughs> you choose a corner adjacent, like uh, a, the spot adjacent to the first X that you made. So this line, maybe, or even this line could work. So let's talk about X spots. If I were to choose this, oh, not this spot. If I were to choose this spot, they have no choice but to put their next move here. This is why I said that use the rule to your advantage. From this spot, where do you go? The middle. So this refers to the X spots. You can either go here or here. Thus, you have two chances, and because it's only their turn, they can only put one O on the playing mat. They have no choice but to go here or here, which makes you the winner. L spots refer to if your opponent chooses if your opponent chooses a corner instead of a middle edge, like let's say they choose this corner, you want to choose the corner opposite of your first move, which in this case they have no choice but to choose the middle. And you have no choice but to choose this, this corner right here. And it's not a perfect L, but it, it's the same as that because of symmetry. And this formation gives you two spots to win. You can either go here or here. They'll have no choice but to go on one of them. And you are the winner. So. Let's say you didn't want to choose a corner for some reason. 
you want to choose the middle edge. That's fine, but the probability of winning is a little less, which is 50%. And this brings you to the T spots. Um, previously, in the corners, the spots were kind of a good thing, but right now, they're not. Because if your opponent chooses any of those spots, that creates a T, the red ones, unfortunately, you can't win. But if they choose any of the other spots, like these two corners or these middle edges, then you've already won. And I'll show you. Let's say they want to choose the corner. I think your go-to next move should be somewhere where it doesn't really, where their next move can't really touch their first, um, their first move. And what I mean by this is that. Um, or actually, pick a corner, because this will have no, they will have no choice but to move their um, second move here, and you have no choice but to move your your third move in the middle, because otherwise they'll win. Um, in this case, you have two possibilities of winning. You can either go here or here, and they'll have no choice but to choose this one of those spots. And again. Next, we're going to talk about the middle, which is a spot you never want to take if you're the first player. But if you're the second player, do it. Do it because once you choose the middle, game is over. You, neither you or them wins, but I mean, I would take a tie any day then to get beat by someone. Um, another case to keep in mind is psychological factors. Pretend, remember when I said that when you're a second player, you choose the middle? Pretend that you're thinking hard. Like, if they choose this spot, pretend you're thinking hard. <laughs> Should I choose this spot or this spot? Okay, I'll go. Pretend, just pretend. It always works. Or have a friend, a third player, not playing, like sitting on the side watching, and let's say you get into this dilemma. They can, still, they can still have the possibility of making this game a tie, but for some reason, people like to go in a corner, which leads them to this formation. And if they don't, before they do that, and you get to, and you have this again, have a friend say, you already lost. And what this does is that you have the ability to restart the game and play again, and they won't choose that spot. Any other spot will cause you a win. Um, so in conclusion, let's reiterate what we learned. Never go in the middle if you're the first player. And if you're the first player, what you want to do, pick a corner. And, or the middle edge, because one, your next move is one, way, one move away from victory.